having an, an artist like Steve uh, want to get roll his sleeves up and go and make a film in a very short space of time, which was uh, which is a complex piece, um, but then not be precious with it uh, in a, in, and uh, and take a lot of risks in uh, in in in, in, in um, implementing its success, uh, successful fruition, you know, really. Um, but it was a uh, it, it was. It was kind of like a shotgun, uh, a shotgun wedding. You know, he he had a script, he had an idea, and he had a couple of weeks, and he wanted to shoot it, and it, it's a big undertaking. Mm. So I wanted to be a part of that as well, and somebody who would take a risk with their work, and uh, and then also the assets of, of uh, the actors and the ensemble and the, the production uh, team that he assembled as well, and everybody was on the same palette, you know, and uh, and and what became obstacles. Uh, presented themselves as opportunities for solution in a purely creative environment where everybody was collaborating to do something which was other than uh, the sort of slightly generic formula of, of movie making or filmmaking today, M much more like a, th a theatre environment. Mm. Every actor that was involved was, you know, is, is, is actually is a really good actor. So, um, and when you get actors together with a really good script, they go to they go to work. They don't, you know, there's no there's no ego. You just go to work and. And uh, when you have somebody in the room who knows exactly what they're doing, what they want, and and the writer is in the room to to not only watch you. But initially, you've got to read the script for them and look for their approval. Mm. Like, was that awful? Mm. You know, do you like us? And once you pass that, that sort of yeah, we like you. It's cool. You, mm. People then start to to file away what it is that they do in their own department. You know, whatever their character is. And that room was we spent five days in the room together, which is a pretty standard rehearsal room environment where. Once people get over the meet and greet and, and the chemistry, they you know they really bond and they start mm. to it's like they, like elves in their you know Christmas elves. Christmas elves they start <laughs> making the toys you know with Papa the Christmas as it were you know what I mean and Steve sort of sat there and and, then, and and went back and forth and just put out the orders and and, and uh, it became a sort of happy hive of uh, creativity and and when you work again with with people who who literally do come to work and and enjoy it then you can start to play it a very a really nice standard and a really good level and, and, and things start to grow and grow as you add on the filming and the, and the DLP and the sound and mm. editing right through to you know completion even in the marketing you know mm. um, it, it, this this project drew out like talent from every aspect mm. of the of, uh, of, of film on something which is actually a very small and contained mm. piece which which you know ultimately comes back down to script as well and the the influence of the you know of, largely of Steve you know Having a draw, the ability to draw people in through his work and through his personality. So, uh, working with the actors was uh, was again symptomatic of the you know the beginning, which was ultimately Steve and the script, and everybody got on really Fantastic. really really well. Ivan Locke is on the page, is is totally on the page, and is everything that he says or people say about him or to him, you, you, there, it, it's very difficult to to miss him um, instinctively. You know, to embody uh, that guy. It would be nice to see other actors play him, to be honest, mm. and see what they bring to him because it's, he's a very strong character and, and very easily approachable um, and accessible in, in many ways. So he's a pleasure to play. Um, so a couple of choices that I made, um, which were we needed, uh, I mean, which were re requested. That mm. you know, obviously, he's a, a, um, a man who works uh, from the floor up. He's a, he's he's worked in construction all his life, and now has become prominently successful at what he does. But he's worked from the floor up, so he's um, he's a, a working man. We needed to have a working man accent, but um, but in uh, in the British Isles, you know, there was there was many regional accents, and a lot of them come with specific stereotypical baggage. So we had to sort of choose one, and then everyone's going to come with some mm. sort of history to it. But uh, Wales, we thought, was that seemingly you know fit a lot of ticked a lot mm. of good boxes mm. because uh, you know yeah, you got a lot of solid men come out of Wales, and uh, you know you, that Richard Burton sort of mellifluous. Um, Gent gentleness in, in the voice as well as being strong, having a strong presence would, would be something to not, that would be nice to emulate but also w was, um, you know, based on their case file evidence, you know, it would make sense that he mm. was in Welsh. Mm. And, uh, and so we, we zeroed in on that and uh, that being a nice voice because, you know, the people at the end of the phone are hearing some pretty distressing stuff mm. and, uh, and he's got to calm some and put out some fires. So it would be nice for him to have a voice which was at least soothing and gave off the, the, the you know, calm. Get over the first six minutes and you're, uh, like, when it's like reading the script, you're suddenly transformed, in, uh, uh, trans, transported, sorry, 
into the dynamic of the world of, of Ivan's world, and you 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 are you're presented with his life, and very quickly the dynamics start to change. Before you know it, you are not really watching a film anymore. You're watching somebody's <laughs> life fall apart, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and and it is interesting to hear people's reactions afterwards. That they either don't like him. Well, they go, you know, you, you know, the girls are like, you idiots, you know, or, you know, you know, you men and then this, that, and the other. Or some people are like, oh, I would take him back, you know, and, mm. and then and this guy's like, oh, my God, that was close to home. Yes. Or, you know, yeah. There's a lot of very human reactions to, and I kind of like the fact that it's not a thriller, there's no car chases, or there's no explosions, because you don't need one, do you? Mm. You know, it, it's not what I expected, you know, and, and th these are all very positive responses, mm. because they obviously people have been allowed to think. And I think we don't um, credit our audience with as, as much Absolutely. intelligence as they have, Absolutely. and then some, because mm. I, I, you know, and it's not, and I, I mean, it's not just a testament to Steve's writing and Steve's work in Locke, but I think also in, in everything um, going forward with work. I, I think people really do, you know, there is a place for, mm. you know, for for for, for story, yeah, for good absolutely. old story exactly. and real people talking, mm. not just for the sake of talking, but like um, genuine life issues and mm. and drama.